Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to talk about github.com and I will uh, use uh, Matomo as an example. So uh, github.com is a platform, here they are mentioning uh, it's an internet hosting platform for software development using uh, Git. So Git is a special technology, I'm not going to talk much about it, but it's a um, technology which allow you to create, let's say, versions of your code and which is great in order to collaborate around the development of, um, let's say, um, codes in, in general. So this uh, github.com platform, so let's imagine it's like a social network for, for developer, uh, belong to Microsoft uh, since 2018 after they made like a huge uh, acquisition based on billions of of, uh, of dollars. Um, that's the platform which uh, has been chosen by the Matomo uh, community in order to develop Matomo and clearly show um, all the code of it. Um, they were there uh, at, really at the beginning, like back in, in like 2007, and um, they have not yet uh, changed from GitHub to another platform even after uh, Microsoft purchased GitHub.com. I guess the reason is that Matomo had uh, their habits on it. Um, so um, this is how it works. You just uh, type here, here over here on the search bar on GitHub.com for the project that you are looking for. Uh, you can of course look for any kind of project that you want uh, to see the code for. Um, here in my case, I'm gonna just uh, focus more on Matomo. So here, uh, of course, always pick up uh, the project which is the more popular if you would like to find out uh, which is the official one. Uh, you can, of course, go on matomo.org and see uh, what is the link that they point to in order to confirm that's the one. Uh, and here is how it looks like. So uh, here we are uh, within uh, Matomo. In fact, we could go uh, one step above. Uh, so this is the main page of the Matomo project. And here what you can see uh, on each of the right rectangle here are the different repositories. So to say sub project which belong, let's say, to a peer or to a company or to an organization. Uh, this part is important for you to understand that uh, Matomo is a set of many different plugins and each plugin may be um, subject to uh, one repository in itself. Okay, so that's the reason why you have a different person which may be involved, of course, different popularity uh, for each of those uh, different sub projects. For example, here you have the main uh, part of Matomo, which is over here, but the, if you would like, for example, to track Matomo on an iOS device, this is a different project because the people who worked on it had different uh, skills, as you can see here, the language which is used over here is Swift and not PHP, and, and so on and so forth. So you have like this, in fact, the list of the, at the moment, 73 uh, different projects. Um, for the sake of this video, we're just going to focus more on this one, this uh, given repository. Here you can see uh, the different people who are involved within the development of Matomo, and by people we mean the one who accepted to make their profile uh, visible, because within GitHub you can also contribute uh, by keeping a high level of privacy. Here you see the top uh, programming languages which are used for the different repository. Um, it's very uh, interactive, so you can at each time click on those and see uh, what are the different uh, repository and projects which are involved with its such uh, development uh, program. Um, as I said, uh, uh, we're going to enter within this uh, given uh, repository. So here is the code part. So the code part represents all the, the files. So let's say it's like a hard drive representing all the different files uh, which are included within uh, the last version of, of Matomo. As you can see here, it's four point. Uh, something, but you can also uh, go back to a previous uh, version of Matomo and see what the code looked like uh, before. Okay, that's what they call over here branches. Somehow it's different. It's not really a different version of the software, but those are, let's say, different. Um, hmm, how to say? Yeah, different version of the software, but developed by different uh, people over time. Um, here, uh, what can be interesting for you is uh, to know what is the license associated to this given repository. So here you get a reminder about uh, what are the 
condition that you can use this software for. And if you have some doubts, you all can always refer to the readme file, which most of the time uh, explain a little bit more about uh, here. That's not the case, but in general, uh, it's within the readme uh, file of scripts that you have within github.com who are giving more information about the, the condition of the license here. In the case of Matomo, they, they will have a dedicated page uh, for this. Uh, so this is the code part. So this is the part on which you understand what open source is about. This is about releasing the different files which are composing the software and for you the possibility to look at each of those and uh, investigate and know what's uh, within it. And you can as well see the number of people who contributed to uh, the development of this specific uh, piece of code. And then you can see uh, what was the last time at which people work on this project, what are the different um, edits that they performed and, and so on and so forth. So this is the code part which mostly deal with transparency. Um, then uh, over here you have the issues part. So the issues part is probably the part that you will be the most interested in because it relates to all uh, the features which have been requested by the community. And when I mean by the community, it includes you as well because you can contribute to a project in uh, GitHub or in Matomo or whatever project by just uh, clicking over here on new issue and uh, writing directly to the community in order to say, uh, for example, that you face a bug within Matomo and that you would like uh, to index it within the list of the tickets so that the Matomo community can know uh, what happened and see if um, this problem has been already uh, pushed in the in the past and so on and so forth. So here uh, the Matomo team is giving you um, information about how to fill in this ticket because um, if you just uh, put the text that, that, that you want to say, let's say the Matomo team uh, will have, let's say, to read it carefully, trying to enter within your head and try to understand what is the issue that you are facing or what you are requesting. It may um, ask them a lot of time to do it and a lot of energy. So it's uh, better to follow the process that they are giving you in order for them to really be able <coughs> to index this uh, ticket as fast as they can and to be able afterwards uh, to um, answer to your, um, let's say, need. Uh, as you can see here, uh, they created several uh, buttons for different things that you would like to push, either bug report, either uh, to prove the documentation, or either the feature uh, development, or either a uh, security issue, but also uh, to access to the different repository that I showed you uh, before in order uh, to send a specific uh, request. Uh, here, uh, what is interesting to see is that the number of uh, issues which are still open, so by issue it doesn't mean that it's like a bug or an error within the system, it's as well a feature request as well um, um, about um, internal process in order for the team to um, work more effectively. So what you will be interested here in, in studying is uh, typically the, the title of the ticket which have been issued, so as the label associated to it, because the label is somehow telling you what this issue is about. Um, in order to have more information about what all those uh, labels are about, you can just uh, see those uh, which are over here, but you can uh, directly get the full list by clicking here and see directly the caption associated to each label and know directly what it's going to be about. Uh, th that is uh, really interesting because if you click over here on the milestones, so milestones is about the list of all um, the tickets that the team already analyzed and organized in order uh, to be able to release a new version of Matomo. So if you click over here on 4.8.0, uh, you can directly see what are the issues which have been uh, tackled by the team and um, what is the level, let's say, of um, what kind of ticket has been closed. And um, most of the time as an end user, what you will mostly be interested in uh, are, of course, um, tickets dealing with the design or the user interface, but um, as well dealing with uh, everything which is about uh, enhancement or new features. If on the other side you are more like, um, let's say, a developer profile, a technical profile, 
you may be more looking about yeah it's such a task such a ticket such as um, how to e how to improve the debugging of, of Matomo. so that that's that's what it is all about so here you get the list of all the tickets uh, which got an answer for and on the other way around here you get the tickets which are still open on which the team is currently working on out of uh, all the different labels which are listed over here um, so you have the caption which is uh, listed here uh, you have categories which are interesting such as the one about how you could let's say contribute and help the Matomo team so those label are the one named help wanted which means that um, those issues are for uh, mostly beginners i mean people who are just starting uh, using Matomo and uh, have some technical knowledge that they could uh, give to uh, the, the community in terms of time. Uh, you have as well over here some other uh, tickets which are about waiting for user feedback, which are more tickets about, uh, okay, the team is waiting for the community uh, to look at the feature and see if uh, the Matomo team understood it properly and uh, would like to let's say uh, give as well what, what they think about is it the right way to make this feature or should we um, do something else about it so uh, don't think that all those tickets are highly technical and cannot uh, be held by you okay so you can in fact uh, contribute to the Matomo development team if of course uh, you are able to read English by just picking up the ticket that you may uh, have an expertise for or just would like to give uh, some feedback about. So this is uh, what you can find over here within the, the list of all the different tickets. Um, as previously mentioned, if you want to create a ticket, just click over here in new issue. And then uh, what is interesting as well is to uh, watch for your, uh, for your ticket because the thing is that the Matomo team is going to read it and then um, may label it uh, according to what they think your ticket is about. So it can either be identified as a ticket for which an answer has already been given. So in this case, it will be answered and your ticket may disappear uh, from one day to another, or it can be uh, labeled as a duplicate if it relates to another issue which have been already um, tackled, or it can directly have uh, some uh, other label put on it but in, in all the case the Matomo team is going to process it so it's important for you to uh, double check uh, the progress of your ticket on it's sent on github because they may require from you more information about uh, what the kind of issue that you are referring to and so on and so forth uh, pull request is as well very interesting because it represents um, the development of features so let's say the tickets that we saw previously which have been uh, let's say worked by uh, the team members and uh, which are somehow released as a first version but which have not been yet included within Matomo so to say maybe over here you have like a great feature that you wish to have here since a long time but which have not yet been uh, sent to the, the Matomo team, okay? But it's important for you to know that over here, let's say in, in the pull request part, you will see, uh, let's say what's coming what's coming next, okay? That's, that's really, really important. Um, actions, uh, this is um, internal stuff uh, for, the, for the Matomo team. So don't have much to say over here. Uh, Wiki is nothing more than uh, how to get started with Matomo. So you can see this information back within the matomo.org. Uh, security as well is the uh, more like, um, let's say, uh, the promotion of the bug bounty program if you would like to report any security issues. And insights refer to, let's say, the activity of the Matomo team on GitHub about uh, who is contributing the most to the development of, of the Matomo project. Uh, that's everything that I wanted to tell you about, um, about Matomo. So keep in mind that Matomo is a free software. It's uh, publicly releasing all the code that they are doing. And that the most important part for you guys to have a look at is the, the issues part dealing with the milestones, the different tickets 
which are going to be included within the next version or on the, let's say, a short uh, term vision of the team or either on the uh, long term. Oh, this is the long term and this is the uh, short term uh, vision. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.